Hey well, guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my Autism Awareness Month series where I'm posting a video every day to help you crush this exam. I love what I do and I want you to be able to do what you love as well. I know you guys are getting into this field because you're passionate about helping people and so let me help you help people. So today we're going to talk about the difference between mix and multiple. Schedules of reinforcement is something that confuses a lot of people. Right, and mix and multiple can seem kind of similar. So a mixed schedule is when there's one behavior that is two schedules of reinforcement and the learner knows what the contingency is. They know that there's something associated with each one of those schedules. So maybe parents are divorced and parents are doing things two separate ways. Mom makes the child do his homework before he goes outside and dad doesn't, right? So there's two schedules of reinforcement, but the learner knows what they are. A mixed is kind of similar because it's still one behavior with two schedules of reinforcement, but the learner doesn't know the rhyme or reason behind when he's getting reinforced one way and when he's getting reinforced another way. So I'm Sicilian. I'm a Gemini. I'm from New Jersey. So we, I, people like myself, Sicilian Gemini from New Jersey, we tend to change our mind a lot. We right? have a lot of different, we have like the two personalities. So you may never know which one of us you're going to get. Well, that would be an example of a mixed schedule of reinforcement, right? When some one behavior is being reinforced in more than one way, and the learner doesn't know what the schedule of reinforcement is. So stay tuned as I go over some questions to really help you understand the difference. So you can check this off your list that you know this part for the exam. Okay, so let's look at some questions doing the multiple and mixed. And again, so what we're going to be looking for is multiple has an SD. What that means is the learner understands what the contingency is because there's a either a person or a place or a day that he or she associates with that schedule of reinforcement or mixed, which is just saying that there's one behavior, two schedules of reinforcement, but the learner doesn't really know what it is. So we're going to see no clear SD present. So the first one says, when using flashcards with your client, sometimes you give him reinforcement on an FR2 schedule, and sometimes you give him reinforcement on an FR1 schedule. What schedule of reinforcement is this? Well, there is no SD here. It doesn't tell us clearly that there's an association with a day or time or place. So this is going to be a mixed schedule of reinforcement. Diana always gives her client a high five and pound every day. Her client has become accustomed to this routine, but she's decided to change things around. Sometimes she gave a high five and pound and sometimes her client did not receive anything. Her client became very fused because he was unclear when he was being reinforced. What schedule of reinforcement is this? Well, this one clearly is saying, right, that there's no SD, the client's confused. The, now the behavior is being reinforced two different ways. This is going to be a mixed schedule of reinforcement. At home, Jaylene got a reinforcement on a VR2 schedule for reading books. And when she goes to grandma's house and reads books, she gets reinforcement on a VR5 schedule. What schedule of reinforcement is this? Well, this is going to be a multiple schedule of reinforcement because there's a clear SD for each schedule. At home, right, home is the SD that she's on a VR2 schedule. At grandma's house, she's on the schedule of VR5, and grandma's house is the SD to indicate that VR5 schedule of reinforcement is present. So this is going to be an example of a multiple schedule of reinforcement. Okay, so let's go over the next question. In math class, Nina's BCBA gives her a 15-minute break after finishing one math worksheet. At home, her mom gives her a bag of chips for completing one math worksheet. What schedule of reinforcement is this? So here we have one behavior, two schedules of reinforcement, and it's clear to the learner what the SD is for each schedule of reinforcement. At home, right, she's getting a bag of chips for the worksheet. So home is signifying that the bag of chips is the reinforcer. And at school or with the BCBA, she gets a 15-minute break. So that signifies the BCBA signifying the 15 minute break is the reinforcer. So this is going to be an example of a multiple schedule of reinforcement. 
Sometimes when kids get 100% on a test, they get a free homework pass, and sometimes they don't. It simply depends on the teacher's mood. The kids never know what reinforcement schedule they are under. What schedule of reinforcement is this? Well, now we have one behavior, two schedules of reinforcement, and it's not clear to the learner, right? It's just that the teacher's mood. Sometimes she does one thing, sometimes she does another thing. There's no clear reason why. So this is going to be a mixed schedule reinforcement. So I hope you guys are starting to see a pattern here. I know that I have a ton of questions and I keep going over and telling you the same thing over and over. But like I said, my goal is that you guys can just check this off the list. You know for certain 100% you're going to get this correct on your exam if you get a question about this. Patty gave her new puppy begging strips every five responses when he responds to a command correctly. Her husband gives him a begging strip after only three responses. What schedule of reinforcement is this? This, again, we have a clear association, a clear SD. Patty's the SD for, Patty signifies, right, that there's five responses required for begging strip. And her husband signifies that three responses are required for begging strip. So they, each one is clear, each contingency is clear. It's a multiple schedule of reinforcement. Okay. <clears throat> Missy and her husband adopted a dog, Cody. You can see, like, my, like myself, most of my coaching students are dog people. Depending upon how busy her day is, Missy will take Cody out on an FR30 or FR60 schedule. The dog never knows what schedule he is under. What schedule of reinforcement is this? This is going to be a mixed schedule of reinforcement. Again, sometimes Missy is reinforcing this one way, and sometimes she's reinforcing this another way. It just depends. The dog doesn't know, so therefore it's a mixed schedule of reinforcement. All right, guys, so I hope that this video has helped you. My goal was that now you'll never get a question wrong if you have to distinguish between multiple and mixed. Um, I love making these videos for you guys. I actually need help. I need your help um, so I can actually help you. So I have promised to make these videos for 30 days. I want to know what you guys want me to make the videos on. So whatever topic you want me to make these videos about, just put it in the comments below and I will pick from there to make the rest of the videos for the rest of the month. So drop your comment below right now because I am planning to answer as many of your questions as I possibly can over the next 30 days. So I love having you watch my videos and I'd also love to work with you personally. If you check out my website, hopeeducationservices.com, I have lots of ways you can work with me. I have a course, I have live events, private tutoring, and a private coaching group. So I'd love to have you as part of all of those things. So check it out and I'll see you guys tomorrow.